Elon Musk's robot was unveiled in prototype form less than a year after it was initially hinted to by a person in a suit. One of the prototypes waved to the crowd as four technicians frantically rushed around it to get ready. In a premiere, many onlookers immediately linked to a robot introduction from RoboCop 2. The presentation did indeed contain more Verhovian themes than was reasonable. Musk said that the humanoid robot, named Optimus, is powered by a 2.3 kilowatt hours battery pack and incorporates part of the algorithms created for Tesla's autopilot driver assistance system. The car maker intends to create the robot in large quantities. In other remarks, the CEO said that manufacturing would begin as early as next year while simultaneously drawing a more ambiguous schedule that might extend into years. According to several remarks made by Elon Musk over the last year, the robot's main objective extends beyond gardening to office work and working alongside people at a vehicle assembly facility. Even the price was indicated. However, it was only given as a rough estimate, $20,000. The business displayed a brief video showing Optimus going about a workplace and carrying out different physical activities while being connected by a connection to something on the ceiling. There was far less information on the programming and task management needed for a robot to do these tasks. For example, it was left up to the owner's imagination how to order the robot to plant potatoes or perform other labor. Tesla would not be the first car maker to enter the robots industry. For well over a decade, Honda and Toyota have been developing humanoid robots, with Honda's Asimo being the most well-known of the type. Hyundai, which just acquired Boston Dynamics, has access to many robots, including ones that can leap, do parkour, and operate challenging materials. Some have since noted that if Tesla had intended to bypass 10 years of research and development, it could have bought Boston Dynamics two years ago, perhaps at a significant discount, and the company would currently be at the forefront of this sector. Musk never provided a clear schedule for the project's development from prototype to production or the actual value it may eventually give customers, and Tesla's Optimus robot failed to outperform any of the feats we've seen over the years at Simo or the diversity of the Boston Dynamics robots. Musk stated earlier this year that the significance of Optimus will become obvious in the coming years. It's also important to note that none of the automakers with extensive expertise in creating different sorts of robots have yet to benefit from these projects, and none of them have so far made a humanoid robot available to the general public. Robotics experts have also frequently highlighted that. Although seeming futuristic, humanoid robots are not the best form for functioning in production environments where many robots are now employed. As many have highlighted, there will need to be new factory space dedicated to the robot's mass production, as well as significantly fewer robots being assembled by humans than are now used in Tesla's vehicle manufacturing. Additionally, it would take Tesla's resources away from making cars. Additionally, none of the grandeur of Tesla's other new vehicle debuts, the last of which was the Cybertruck and the robot's introduction, late on a Friday, when businesses typically bury bad news, provided a distinct vibe from the company's prior presentations. Speaking of the Cybertruck, the carmaker is still planning to start making the electric version at its Austin factory in the second half of next year. While dealing with some production difficulties, Tesla is now attempting to get its two newest factories, Austin and Berlin, up to their intended output. Furthermore, Musk is fully aware that plenty is still to be done to improve things. One of his objectives is to produce enough robots to test them as employees at Tesla's manufacturing facilities. Tesla will concentrate on enhancing its capabilities in the interim, Musk assured the audience during the queue and a session that's not all. We aim to create entertaining iterations of Optimus that can be both a tool for doing things and a companion to hang out with, and I'm confident that people will use this robot in various inventive ways. The androids shown in science fiction films like Star Trek. The next generation may exist someday. We could teach the robot to imitate people and act more naturally by programming it to be kinder and less artificial. We can incorporate such developments into the robot when general artificial intelligence develops. It should, of course, be able to follow straightforward directions and maybe even figure out what you want, according to Musk. Musk said about the sci-fi movie series in which machines revolt against humans, we always want to be sure we don't go down the Terminator route. There will be security measures, such as the option to turn it off and upgrade its operating system online. According to Musk, 
Tesla is an appropriate organization to take on the robot project from a governance perspective. Our business is publicly traded, and that implies that Tesla is under public control, which is okay. So you may fire me if I get insane, which is significant. That's all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.